Patch Tuesday is the unofficial term used to refer to when Microsoft regularly releases security patches for its software products. It occurs on the second and sometimes fourth Tuesday of each month in North America. If you go to the site here, this is uh, Microsoft's security bulletin. You can get to this address here. You can see the latest security patches. One patch can fix many vulnerabilities. You want to install all the critical patches, definitely. And really, you want to install the important ones too. But you can make that decision based on what you think of these security patches. The KB number will match the number shown in the Windows operating system for the details and the KB is unique to the patch. The CVE numbers are unique to the vulnerability or the bug. You can see these if you click on the patch. You can see here, CVE number here. We'll click on this. That'll take us through to the common vulnerabilities and exposures. That'll provide us more information on that. You can also you know, choose to Google for the vulnerability and find other juicy information about it. You can see here that this one was found as one of the hacking team's uh, bugs that they were using to hack machines. And you can search to see whether there's exploits available for it. And if it's relatively new, and maybe not. You can search on CVE details for the vulnerability. And here we can see this is a particularly bad one. 9.3 allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary code. Yeah, that definitely needs to be patched. Those that are arbitrary code that are running remotely and buffer overflows are particularly bad. Anything that is rated critical will be rated for good reason and definitely should be applied. And anything that's important will you know, should be important to apply. You can see the um, CVSS score here, 9.3, and that's, um, that's something the industry is trying to adopt in order to have a universal uh, standard for uh, how dangerous something is and you, that can help you make a decision as to whether or not you want to uh, apply it or not but if it's red apply it details for vulnerabilities for all types of software and operating systems can be found on um, a few places this common vulnerabilities exposure is a good place the national vulnerability database and CVE details itself. 